The act scene from The Shining encapsulates everything horror should be. Jack Nicholson's psychotic character takes away Wendy's escape route, tugging her feel vulnerability in isolation. This feeling attacks our natural instincts, instilling an extreme sense of fear. The scene triggers most people's fear of death and isolation. We had first seen Marion minding her own business at a medium close-up shot, smiling in the shower. We get to see her expressions close up, immersing herself in the moment, which will make what's about to happen even more impactful. She is quite literally washing away her sins after apologizing to the psycho right here. As he rips open the curtain, there is a close-up of Marion screaming to show how concerned she really is to her killer. What then follows is a spur of fast-paced shots from almost every angle, which gives us the feeling of tension chaos as all of the unnatural movement creates a horrifyingly unfamiliar experience. It's as if we are in Marion's head watching her die, and we don't know how to react to such a thing. We still know that she was stabbed because the shower is such a closed-off space, the music being so piercing as it mimics the feeling of a nice stab, as well as blood falling into the bathtub. The psycho then leaves Marion all by herself, knowing their work is done, as there is no hope for her surviving that. The music and cuts slow down as we are left with Marion sliding down the shower to reflect upon the consequences of what just occurred. The shower water is still flowing down, showing how life is still moving on while she is abruptly dying. There isn't a cut to the shower curtain falling after she holds on to it for dear life, but it does not hold, finalizing that there is no hope for Marion. What is up guys? I just trapped four random people in a room and I'm gonna ask them questions about horror movies. And if they fail, they die. But before we get into that, we have a quick word about the history of horror. Yo guys, it's the sponsor of the video, the history of horror. So, from the 1890s to the 1920s is when the first horror movies were made. The first one being The House of the Devil, directed by Georges Miley's, I messed up that name. Germany's expressionist movement created the most influential horror films of this part, like Nosferatu, ever heard of it? In the 1930s to the 1940s, the Universal Studios monopolized horror movies with all their monster movies like Dracula, and Frankenstein, and other ones. In the 1950s, the Cold War created fear of invasion, so we got stuff like Invasion of the Body Snatchers pretty on the nose, on the nose right there. Nuclear power created fear of mutated monsters, so you got like Godzilla and other examples. Scientific discoveries were scary to people because people hate science, so we got stuff like the fly and stuff about mad scientists. In the 1960s to the 1970s, the studio system ended, so you got the graphic violence, graphic sex, and all that good stuff. And then Vietnam happened, so you got the era of cynicism and nihilism, which created horror films about social issues, like The Wickerman about religion. And then you got the modern slasher made by Halloween and Black Christmas. Then in the 1980s, the first half, all slashers. The second half, all campy. And you know, Stephen King adaptation started dominating everything. Then you get to the 90s where the indie movement was huge. And now horror movies are starting to get critical acclaim. And none show this more than Silence of the Lambs, which won the best picture among other awards like director, actor, screenplay, and other l lesser awards. Now it's time for our first question. What are some of the later movements of the horror of genre in the 90s to the 2000s? Oh my god, so in the 2000s there was the post 9-11 movement where all the horror movies had a sense of hopelessness for their main protagonists. For example, in Saw, where the threat is so dangerous that the character cannot escape, and at every single corner, uh, 
the, there's just a sense of threat and danger and it gets more and more tense and you feel that the character has no hope of surviving. To counter that, the 2010s has grief horror where there is some sense of hope to just the contrast is like in Midsommar and in the, the 90s there's none of that but there are foreign films like Ringo that portray uh, that are brought to popularity. Actually, you're wrong. It's pronounced Ringu, not Ringo. You die! Ah, shoot. Did he get killed off? Oh, he's gone. That sucks. Okay. What causes intense fear to the audience in a horror movie? Uh, I think I know. Uh, the suspense, mood, and mystery. I don't know. Is it? Uh, uh, okay, you got that one right. Now what's the capital of Switzerland? Oh my god, wait, I know this one. Uh, god, like, Hawaii? Is that? Am I right? Actually, you're wrong. It's burn, as in you will burn now! Oh my god, seriously? Now, name three people that were influential in the horror genre. Oh, I think I know this one. It's Alfred Hitchcock, uh, John Carpenter, and George Romero? Correct. Now you die! I think that's right. But she was right! What genre was horror influenced by? German Expressionism! That is correct. Now, what is the main goal of horror movies? They seek to elicit fear and disgust in the audience. Congratulations! You win! Am I free?